Hey, how do you feel? I'm, I know you already talked about it. How do you feel after your big victory, man? You finished the program. Hey, you won. Th- thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I talked about it early. So I walk into that stadium. Pretty familiar with that stadium. I have like an 18-yard scamper in that stadium, an onside Ooh. kick in that stadium. Oh. I mean, a lot of things have happened in that stadium. But I did forget that like Summer Slam is happening in July. And I walked into that stadium and I looked up and there was not even a sign of a roof. And I took a deep breath in of the sauna air that it was because it was supposed to rain. And I said, oh, I should have been training outside this whole time. You know, because I was doing my Stairmaster in my basement in the air conditioning and I put a hoodie on it. Certainly get hot, but (laughs) I don't know if the air that feels like a milkshake, Uh I wasn't prepared for that. So that was Bush League stuff. I should have been a little bit more prepared for the thickness of Nashville down there. Uh, with the humidity also, <laughs> a little slick. Things were a little slick out there. You know what I mean? Like, there was a time where you know, I potentially almost broke my neck a couple times. <laughs> oh. But I did not, you know. There was some I thought a few times he was all, like, I, I think I texted you. It all, no matter what you're doing, it all looks like it's part of the program. Well, I'll tell you what. This one here, when I... Uh, when I was about to go off, you know, with the swan tail and bomb beanie, yeah. mm-hmm. as I was climbing up there, I realized like, oh, these ain't these ain't normal ring posts. I thought these were going to be because <laughs> the normal ring posts that we use like at SmackDown, you know, because that's the only time I really get a chance to study what I'm gonna have to be using is at SmackDown. I'm looking around, so I'm looking around. I'm like, oh, those ring posts are big. All right, if there comes a time, I'm going up onto that thing and I'm fucking going banana. Mm-hmm. If I need to, I'm gonna do it. So as I'm climbing up, I really. Oh, we don't have that. It's not the same one. Oh, right. shit. Okay, here we go. You know, so there were some surprises. There were some surprises out there as I was going up. Um, the crowd was awesome. The crowd Seems was, like it. The crowd was so cool. Uh, Derrick Henry, Taylor Lewan, Will Compton, Why? the boy Ryan Tannehill was there, I believe. Got a chance to catch up with them beforehand. Kid Rock was there, obviously. Oh, yeah. Kid Who was he making out with? I think her name is Tammy. I'm not sure. She's like a female Donnie Baker mm-hmm. on the internet. Hilarious. You know who Donnie Baker is? No. So he's like the white trash. Human of white trash. Here. Maybe I've seen him then. Hilarious. From Bob and Tom on the internet. Does a lot of, I swear to God, like he, uh, <laughs> he's just like a white trash comedian. And I think, you know, he sells a boat. He does the whole thing. She, I believe, is, I think she's become much bigger than Donnie Baker at this point. But she's the female. Counterpart. Version. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And Did I, they come together? No, but I was introduced to her via a Donnie Baker video with her. You know what I mean? Ah. So, like, that's how I... Because I knew Donnie Baker from Bob and Tom. And did you I, stay at Kid Rock's place, or did you stay in a hotel? So, I didn't stay at Kid Rock's spot. Ah. I did stay at the house, <laughs> or at the hotel. In the, I left after SummerSlam. I didn't hit Broadway, uh, so I didn't really get a chance mm. to go out there. Good, clean dap-up, I mean, Kid Rock, though. I don't know if you saw it. I did not know. I need to check it out. Full boom. Because awesome. after I won, you know, I was standing there. I looked over. Cole was jacked up. Michael Cole's awesome, yeah. by the way. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I He's getting a lot of good pub, too, from your everything. I fucking love Michael Cole. Yes, I absolutely love him. Does seem to be a little bit more relaxed whenever we go into shows now. <laughs> oh, sure. I don't know. Something must have happened. He's just a little bit more... <laughs> Seems like he's a little bit more <laughs> relaxed going in there. So I looked over at him, and then Taylor Lewan was fucking jacked. So was Will. I was like, I appreciate you boys. Derrick Henry was there. The early, I saw them earlier in the day. They were like, you want us to come in or whatever? I'm like, uh, do you guys want to? And they were like, yes, we definitely would. I'm like, okay. And then I got a text from Vrabes. It was like, hey, is Lewan and Henry doing anything? And I'm like, oh, so Vrabes kind of wants this. And I was like, ah, I don't know. I, I honestly do not know. That should have happened. Like, at some point, I should have went and got them. Derrick Henry should have done a fucking... Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you know what I mean? Goldberg like a, Spear. Well, I don't know. Derrick should have just ran through them, motherfucker. Yeah. Luan could have done something. So what's that? Where the hell were they when Corbin put on the headset? They were right yeah, there. Yeah, right they in front of them. They could have huh. popped up. It doesn't seem like they actually wanted to, because they would have if they, they did. They did feel eager, but at the time, they yeah. had an opportunity. Oh, bark yeah. no bite. I thought for sure Taylor was going to donkey punch him right in the back of the head when he did Shut that. Yeah. Well, unless you would have. Cole thought about it. Cole yeah. was sitting right there. I saw a photo mm-hmm. where Cole was like this, yeah. and I'm laying right in front yeah. of him getting punched in the face. What are you doing? But I, I could hear Cole yelling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like Corbin talking about Tim and Sally like that. Either. Yeah, what's that all about? Fucked up. Very rude. What's that all about? What? He's doing research into my family? Oh, I think he knows Tim and Sally pretty well, actually. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I think he knows them, actually, yeah. <laughs> they were kind of torn there for a bit, but then once he did that, they were like, fuck okay. that guy. Yeah, fuck when he guy. pushed Cole, that we, was awesome. Hey, that's rude. Don't touch me! Those yeah. big paws. <laughs> yeah. 
But yeah, afterwards, as I was celebrating in the ring, trying to find air, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, trying to find <laughs> air. Here we go. Uh, I look over Kid Rock, both <gasps> like this, okay? Next to uh, Derrick Henry, <laughs> Luan, and Michael Cole, and the people behind, normally the people sitting behind the commentary desk nowadays at most of these shows, I have a lot of uh, really cool people sitting by. Like when I get up, there's a lot of like, uh -huh. uh, feels like a lot of my people are potentially behind the commentary table. So I appreciate those people a lot. I appreciate everybody in there, obviously, but it feels like that section in most arenas we go to, a lot of, a lot of my merch there, mm -hmm. a lot of like signs there, like very appreciative of everybody. I wish I could go in and dap everybody up, but the way it's all, the so that side was going crazy. And when I looked, I saw fucking Kid Rock like going on. I'm like, it's fucking Kid Rock. Yeah. That's literally what I said to myself. That's fucking Kid Rock. <laughs> and I wasn't going to go over to that thing. And if you watch it back, I literally just like collapse to the ring and then roll out. There's a guy wearing my fucking jersey. I miss him. I, I feel so bad. I slap hands with somebody like two down from him, go over, uh, quick slap uh -huh. with Kid Rock, and then with uh, Derrick Henry, and then Luan and Michael Cole, suck it to Corey Graves. Oh, yeah. And then on the way out, I chug that beer with that random dude. Ra oh, I was just random? That was not playing. Warm beer. Have no idea who that human Light is. Beer? It was definitely light beer. Right. Right. Piss? It was sure wouldn't piss? Uh, it tasted as such. So <laughs> it could have been, you know, could have been pissed, especially long walk to the bathroom from yeah. where that guy was sitting. Yeah. So I might have been pissed. I don't know. I took a pretty good swig, though. Yeah. Oh, I, felt, yeah. I felt pretty good down. about the chug. I was pretty tired. Gave a cheers. Had to find some sort of resemblance of breath again. Uh -huh. Chugged that. You know, I knew what was going to happen. That guy didn't. Threw the ball. Then I go back, high-fiving, and I'm trying not to puke up that warm beer I just chugged and try to find my breath without fucking up. I missed the guy in my jersey again. Two times, Shit. two times. I want to let that guy know I feel so bad, dude. I don't. If it means anything, I was so exhausted. I had no fucking idea what was going on, let alone how bad the beer tasted that I just right. chugged down. Thank you to the man who gave me the beer. Yeah, that was probably like twelve bucks or whatever that oh, I chugged. Yeah. Right. I appreciate that a lot. But yeah, it was all kind of a blur out there, AJ. And I don't think I was as prepared as I should be. I'll get better for next time, AJ. I'll get better for next time. Well, isn't that like what uh, when boxers go and they fight outside, they realize that real quick? Okay, this is different. This humidity outdoors is a little different world. I was a little worried about my uh, my wind to begin with. Remember, because my knee, I fucked up my knee. I couldn't really do anything oh, there. Yeah. So I had like three and a half, four weeks almost to get SummerSlam, and I was trying my best. I was doing cardio two times a day. Actually, shoot, doing cardio two times a day. I was doing keto, trying to lose as much weight as possible. I was trying to make up for some of the lost time with the knee thing. So going in, I think I was confident where I was, where I got to. And then as soon as I, as soon as that air, I was like, oh, fuck. God damn I it. need it. I am not. So there was a lot of, and I'm never like that. I'm not a self-doubt person ever, ever in my life. If I have to do something, I'm going to act as if I'm supposed to be here. And I'm going to go all in because if it ends up, that's the first time in my life it's been like, <sighs> don't know. <laughs> this might be tough. Don't know about this one, buddy. <laughs> don't know about this one got a win though and uh me and corbin you know 13 years ago chatted about that so although he's still a rat sack of shit yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. kicked me in the ball from behind on friday night uh there's a couple moments where i was looking around and i saw his ass and it was like this is pretty fucking this is a pretty cool thing you know what i mean pretty cool thing. i would say yeah i would say so full circle i'm not as sore as i was though after wrestlemania or anything like that i wonder i mean you still were flipping and jumping everywhere and doing all kinds of stuff <laughs> I was too Italian, you know. I, mean, I, thought I was throwing yeah. it too hard. I was throwing it too hard doing all the things. Gets Mania. heavy sometimes. It does. It does. It does. The gravy gets heavy. Mania was the day after too. Yeah. Because like since that one was on Saturday. That. Well, and after Mania, I drank forty-five beers. Uh -huh. What? And you had to fly pretty far home. This one, I only had a few beers, a couple of jacks. What? A lot of vitamins. What? Uh, Shout out to the boys, by the way, uh, that I hung out with afterwards when I couldn't get out of a chair in the locker room because I was immediately sore afterwards. Uh -huh. That locker room was really cool. That was a really cool experience. Had no service, couldn't talk to anybody. Got like 75 text messages as soon as I went outside. Everybody thought I was an asshole for not answering them. It's like, I was in a stadium, I was in a locker room, and I couldn't move. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I am so sorry.